Did you ever wonder why that sneaky Tartar have a tendency to accumulate on these really nice braces? And not only this, but what kind of implications, negative implications, can that have on the long run, not only on the braces treatment, but also on oral health? My name is Dr. Mo, and I'm a dentist. First of all, I'm going to discuss this picture we have here. After this, I'm going to be talking about potential implications of this, as well as debunk some myths, very widely spread myths about this. Let's start with this image. So this person, uh, first of all, has a retainer, okay? This is called a retainer. Retainer is uh, typically placed after the orthodontic or braces treatment is done. Um, it looks similar to the uh, uh, braces wire to a certain degree. Uh, the plaque has tendency to accumulate around this area. It's more difficult to floss. Uh, actually, it's really difficult to floss this using a traditional um, dental uh, floss. So you need alternatives, which I'm going to talk about later in the video. Why do I uh, show you this uh, picture? Because also it's somewhat of a similar concept as to people who actually have braces. Uh, the rationale and simple idea is dental tartar has a tendency to accumulate uh, more easily on these uh, wires, retainers, braces, uh, all of these things. And not only this, but also makes it more difficult to um, clean the teeth uh, that these retainers or uh, dental braces uh, are uh, pl placed on, okay? And that is very important because we need to find some workarounds or solutions in order to uh, address this, okay? So uh, one of the things that can be taken into consideration, instead of using a traditional string floss, uh, a, the a person can use a, something called as a water floss. If you don't know what a water floss is, uh, I'll put some links in the description that you can check out of some water flossers uh, from Waterpick. I'm not uh, sponsored by them. Also, you can check out other uh, water flossers. Another uh, uh, thing, form of, we call it interdental cleaning uh, that uh, someone may use, and that is an interdental brush. Um, interdental brush is simply a type of a brush that can go and clean in between the teeth. Of course, uh, before using uh, interdental forms of brushing, it's uh, uh, better to consult with your dentist. I'm just telling you the uh, available options in, in general. Best to consult and see which uh, option uh, is uh, best for you. Okay, so what are the uh, implications of having something uh, like this, okay? So first of all, remember in orthodontic treatment or braces treatment, we're trying, or the orthodontist trying to move teeth into the desired position, right? Because we have a goal at the end of how the teeth uh, should be arranged and should look at the end for a beautiful smile. Uh, the problem is uh, having excessive amounts or uh, big amounts of, of dental calcus and a uh, dental plaque, which block the areas uh, in between uh, the uh, teeth, this can um, contribute to uh, really blocking or slowing down that movement of the teeth. How are the teeth going to move if the dental black and calculus is filling in uh, those places? So it is especially important to not only maintain uh, excellent oral hygiene, but also have regular dental visits uh, when someone has braces or a retainer to ensure that the uh, dental plaque is not really blocking the areas uh, in between the teeth. Okay, so there are other things we're going to go uh, across. So I talked, of course, about uh, tartar extensively. Um, a lot of people may know it as calculus or hardened uh, 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 basically uh, dental uh, plaque. It's sticky, requires professional cleaning by a, uh, a dentist or dental hygienist. Uh, okay, uh, there's also periodontists who do uh, these uh, uh, procedures. That dental plaque, which, which forms initially, gradually hardens 
uh, and uh, uh, undergoes a mineralization to become uh, dent dental calculus. It's more uh, aesthetically, okay? So I talked about why braces uh, may be uh, involved with an increased uh, dental tartar risk. I think it's very obvious, I said, because uh, it's harder to reach all the tooth surfaces uh, with the uh, brush and flossing may take longer or may uh, require a little bit more uh, skill to do, but it's relatively easy, but it's just you need um, to take your time and make sure uh, that you do it, okay? Um, and saliva, although a lot of saliva comes in, I mean, remember certain areas of the tooth is, is blocked really by these uh, uh, wires and braces and retainers uh, that are on. And just to clarify again, of course, the retainer is placed after uh, the braces uh, treatment. The retainer is what they showed you at the beginning, okay? So uh, there's also risk for gum inflammation or uh, gingivitis. I talked about gingivitis extensively on this channel. Uh, simply, you can think about it as uh, the um, really gum inflammation or gum uh, disease, basically, and that is, of course, associated with uh, dental tartar uh, treatment <clears throat> and the dental plaque, which uh, really, to a large extent, contributes to that uh, gingivitis and gum disease. Not only gingivitis, but other forms of um, uh, uh, gum disease and also periodontal disease uh, can be can happen. Uh, also, when doing checkups on patients, I sometimes do see uh, white spot lesions, which uh, can be um, uh, early uh, 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 caries or signs of early enamel uh, uh, damage uh, around the uh, braces region. Uh, can be contributed to uh, 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 different reasons, but uh, uh, one of the reasons is, of course, uh, the patient's not uh, maintaining excellent uh, oral hygiene, okay? So let's talk about periodontal disease. Um, if left unchecked and untreated, excuse my coffee. So with regard to periodontal disease, if left uh, unchecked, Severe gum infection can uh, harm the underlying bone, supporting bone, uh, and other oral uh, tissues, okay? So I talked about also delayed orthodontic uh, progress, which is really bad because um, most patients, of course, want to uh, have their uh, orth orthodontic uh, done in the uh, short time uh, feasible. And I don't want to generalize because the, there is... <laughs> A number of patients who like the appearance of like braces or something with their friends, but I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about <clears throat> generally speaking, the pur purpose of um, orthodontic treatment and the desired uh, end result that uh, we need, okay? So um, what about, uh, let's talk about some prevention strategies, evidence-based prevention uh, strategies. So um, the brushing technique uh, really matters, you know, brushing at least twice a day, uh, at least for uh, two to three minutes uh, each, uh, or spending, let's say, at least two to three minutes each uh, brushing time uh, is a good idea. Again, if I talk about fluoride, some people are going to get angry in the comment section. There is uh, fluoridated toothpaste, there is um, uh, alternatives to fluoridated toothpaste. Of course, I have my opinions on this. I'll leave it to uh, other videos if you want. Write in the comment section, do you use a fluoridated tooth toothpaste or do you use a different type of toothpaste? Uh, flossing uh, with uh, when having braces on, very, very important. As I said, there are different means that I talked about um, of uh, flossing and internal dental brushing. There's water flossers, uh, there are uh, certain uh, other types of uh, floss. There's also <clears throat> interdental uh, brushes, which I think I'll put a link in the comment section. Again, these are uh, Amazon products, but um, or products rather on uh, Amazon from some really reputable brands. You can check them out. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I, I wrote small note uh, about uh, uh, mouth rinses. This is more in relation to if prescribed and if advocated by uh, the your uh, oral healthcare professional. Uh, you can uh, uh, check it out. Okay, I'm not a huge advocate uh, of this. So unless if uh, prescribed or uh, really, uh, um, I don't know, advocated by by your particular dentist, that's a different uh, topic. Okay. So again, uh, finally, professional. 
uh, cleanings, regular dental uh, checkups and cleanings, very, very important, okay? So there are certain uh, common myths uh, that I would like to uh, debunk. Some people think that if you brunch, brush, not brunch, brunch is like some British uh, meal thing. Wait, is it British or? Okay, so I'm joking. If you brush once a day, uh, that's enough. That's a myth, of course. Uh, typ typically speaking for the average person, like it's not uh, enough. I mean, brushing uh, at least uh, twice a day is probably a good idea, especially if you're combating uh, that uh, tartar, um, that plaque build up rather, which turns in the future into a uh, tartar. <clears throat> so uh, some people also, another myth, some people think that uh, or, are wondering if mouthwash alone can replace uh, brushing and flossing. Of course not. So uh, brush, brushing and flossing are extremely critical and integral. So it, it is not enough. It's important to brush uh, and uh, floss. It's very important to note that the uh, braces itself is not uh, create, creating the tartar, but rather what's happening it just makes it harder to clean uh, the teeth surfaces and hence uh, tartar forms. And unfortunately, I, I mean, Again, I speak from like a lot of perhaps uh, patients that I saw. Of course, some really take great care of oral hygiene with braces, but uh, some uh, uh, may have difficulty really in cleaning the teeth when having uh, braces. Okay, so let's recap. I talked about tartar. Is it like hardened, uh, hardened uh, plaque that forms with oral hygiene? Is it the thuru? Um, uh, uh, so uh, uh, the brace makes it easier for plaque to hide, uh, uh, which increases tartar risk. Uh, so tartar built up can lead to consequences like gum problems uh, and, and other oral uh, issues. It can even uh, in, uh, interfere with the orthodontic treatment and plan. Uh, what about uh, really good prevention methods? We talked about basically maintaining excellent oral hygiene, inter interdental tools, regular visits with uh, your uh, dentist. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends who have braces or are planning to have braces, or maybe someone has a child or something that's going to have um, braces soon, okay?